Okay, so I first saw this idea posted on Reddit, um, and I think there's a couple of things about it on Thingiverse as well. Basically, what we're going to do is make a really easy, cheap light source. Um, this is going to be able to bend over a desk, uh, and you can use it sort of for soldering, for making videos like I'm doing, or just playing about with your drones or whatever. Um, and it's going to be dirt cheap. Basically, all we need uh, is this thin, you'll see it's about an inch thick, um, it's really flexible. This is called trunking, um, and it might be go by other names in different countries. Uh, it's essentially what you would use to house cables and wires. Uh, and put them throughout the house uh, so this would just go flush on a wall uh, and have a connector bit over here to sort of hide the cables uh, so this is called trunking uh, you can get it for about a pound or two per meter uh, and I actually found this bit in a skip so uh, <laughs> that um, that makes it even cheaper of this video you're gonna need a male XT60 connector to solder onto here uh, and this is a LED just pure white LED strip uh, it's five meters long and I think it was about two pounds fifty um, off Banggood so altogether these are pieces you could probably found lying about the house if you're a bit of a technician um, or something that's going to cost you less than a fiver easily uh, to produce a really good light source. So first of all we're going to want to go ahead and uh, solder the XT60 plug onto here and then we'll attach the LED strip onto our trunking. Okay so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add some solder to each of these pins so there we go, we've gone ahead and added solder to the XT60 plug. Finally, you're going to want to attach the wires onto the XT60 plug. Remember this sort of curved surface um, of the plug is the negative one, so the black is going to go to the curved surface, and then the red is going to go to the uh, flat surface, which is positive on the bottom there. So go ahead and attach those onto there. Now we can simply unroll this out. You'll see it's got its sort of uh, self-adhesive on the back, so if we can pull this off and then we can just literally uh, just tape it onto the trunking, uh, so that's going to be really easy easy for us to apply. So just a quick note on the LEDs, you can see that every three LEDs we've got these sort of four dots and two dash lines. Uh, this means that you can make a cut here, so if you want to cut it to a meter, then uh, then you can just slice it off where you need it along those three dots. Okay, so what we're going to do now is peel off the uh, sticky bit of the LEDs and stick them down onto the trunking like this. I'd suggest probably leaving about um, a couple of inches here at the bottom because we're going to need to connect it to our desk um, with a bit of Velcro or maybe a screw on here. Uh, so leave a couple of inches uh, to be able to connect it to the desk. So peel ahead the sticky, uh, take it all the way down and snip it where you need it and that'll be us done. Okay so at this point you've got a lot of options. If you've got a small desk like me uh, and you're probably not going to move it then you could use something substantial like this. It's sort of a, uh, a foam thing with double sided sticky tape on each side so that's going to attach it um, and probably not going to be able to move it much. Um, so if you know you want it in the same position uh, get something like this, maybe get some velcro uh, or maybe just tape it down, blue tack it because this is very lightweight so it's going to be able to take um, uh, something as unsubstantial as blue tack probably if it's only temporary. So you can see there we've got this uh, the adhesive on here that's nice and tight on there and that's also why we don't want it to leave some room so that we can put the battery adapter. Uh, you could also maybe velcro the battery on the side there um, uh, so it's out of the way or just uh, leave it on the desk if you're not too worried about that. So this is 12 volt supply so go ahead and uh, grab a 3S battery like this um, and then just go ahead and plug it in and ta-da you've got yourself an awesome sort of uh, curved, I'll stand back a little bit, uh, perfect brilliant light source um, to build all your drones on. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, whack one on there, you can see we've got a nice light on there now. Uh, it's coming from all angles so we don't have much of a, um, a shadow on anything uh, from any particular direction uh, which is great. Um, and it also makes it a lot easier to film YouTube videos, um, do soldering and stuff. Uh, this is actually really awesome. Uh, you probably can't tell quite how bright it is um, on the uh, camera, but yeah. Uh, so this is pretty fantastic, uh, and I'm really liking the setup. I'll try and zoom out a bit more there. So uh, there you go, guys. That's how to make yourself um, sort of a less than five pounds, probably less than five dollars as well, to be honest. Um, very easy LED sort of strip lighting. And I guess you could probably also use this uh, if you wanted to do some sort of nighttime gates uh, for flying your drones as well uh, then that would be a pretty cool idea so anyway guys hope you found this really useful uh, I know I'm gonna be using this for a lot of things uh, go ahead try it out you know if you're not that uh, confident don't worry it's very cheap very easy skills you see it's literally just a tiny bit of solder um, and then gluing stuff on uh, with sellotape so anyway guys hope this was useful uh, go ahead and subscribe be sure to stay tuned for some more DIY things like this and I'll see you next time peace out